The 6.3 quake hit the city of Hatay, already one of Turkey's hardest hit areas. Many buildings, weakened by the previous earthquakes and aftershocks, crumbled. CBN's Operation Blessing International Relief Director, Diego Traverso, filed this report moments after it struck. It felt really strong and everything collapsed again. The electricity, uh, everyone just uh, went out. We're right here on the street serving the people that is coming here. We're distributing solar lamps. We start with a medical clinic right on the spot so we can serve the people here that is uh, under so much distress. Also some meals, we're making some hot soup right now on the spot distributing blankets. It gets, uh, it got really cold right now again. The city of Hatay is also known as Antioch. It played a prominent role in the life of the Apostle Paul and served as a foundation of the early church. CBN News visited the city just days ago. Behind me is the city of Antioch, devastated by the February 6 earthquake. In the New Testament, the book of Acts chapter 11, it says that in Antioch, the followers of Jesus were first called Christians. Like many areas throughout this region, Antioch took an especially hard hit. You see scenes of devastation like this all over the earthquake zone. But this particular site is unique because this was the ministry of a local church serving their neighborhood for 23 years. Pastor Ilmas told CBN News about that terrifying night. I just can't find the words to describe it, and I don't think you can really understand what happened at that time. There was a deep noise from the ground that it wasn't ending, and it was a long time. Both my husband and I just looked at each other and hugged each other, and we started praying. Within moments, they rushed outside. And then when we came out, and completely outside, and I looked and I realized that all these buildings were collapsed. And that was so painful because this has been our ministry to our neighbors. For years, she ministered to about 50 neighborhood children, teaching them the Bible. <laughs> and now they are all gone. I've lost all of them. Some of them died and some of them are just spread around the country or need medical help and they can't live here anymore or they have moved to other cities, and I've lost them all. Pastor Amas' church was destroyed too. Nothing is left, and this has been our church for 23 years. All those years of love and caring for everyone, everything is gone completely. Still, Pastor Ilmas has a positive outlook. There's no more Antioch left, but there will be a new Antioch. There will be a new church and God has already given us the building for that. So that will be the new church and there's no damage on that church. 